الخطوة تتبع خطوة وطريق الظلم سيطوى ويشق سبيل النور لفجر الدعوى نتخلى لكن نمضي لنهز بقاع الأرض نتألم لكن ذاك مخاض الصحوى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد As we usually discuss uh, the obstacles on the way uh, the next one will be التكبر كبر arrogance is really really dangerous what's takabur prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, narrated by imam muslim he said la yadkhulu al jannata man kana fi qalbihi mithqala dharratin min kibr no one will go to jannah unless if they have a kibr dharra is like atom atom of the kibr if they have in the heart they're not going to go to jannah one Sahabi stood up and he said, Oh, O Messenger of Allah, Allah blessed me with money, the wealth and health. You see, I, I, I wear the thob, the really good one, nice one. Na'al, yani shoes, a really nice one. Is this kibr? Then Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, No. Inna Allah jameelun yuhibbu jamal. Indeed, Allah is beautiful and loves beauty. Al-kibru batarul haqqi wa ghantun nas. The kibr is, if right thing comes to you, Someone says, Allah said this, Rasulullah sallallahu said this, you ignoring that, this is kibr, and ghamtun nas, you belittling human being. Who is he, who is she, I know better than him, this is kibr. If someone tells you something, check yourself. If you have this kind of disease, then that's called kibr. If you have small atom of those, kibr, you're not going to enter the jannah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. So what's the difference between takabur and izzah? Takabur, you requesting or you showing with something bottle which is not exist or you don't have that thing. You requesting, you're doing with something. You know, you don't have money, you want to show you're so rich. You don't have knowledge, you want to show you're so knowledgeable. This is takabur. But izzah, you have money and you want to ask your izzah with that, you have knowledge and you want to ask that, whatever could be knowledge, position, anything, with that is izzah, is not kibr. There's a dif difference between kibr, takabur, and izzah. And the reasons, what could cause us to be mutakabir? What? We discussed about uh, haughtiness and al ghurur we discussed before, previously. Similar. Let's say growing in it. If you grow within this kind of environment, all the mutakabirun or your family member, your father, your mother said, you're the best. You just go and pay. Close his mouth, shut his mouth, beat him, hit him. You know, you bringing up your child this way, it will, it will engrave in his heart or her heart and she or he will be mutakabir. That's the first reason. Second, praising a person to his face. You know, raising him to the sky, not, not observing the sharia. This is really important. When you're praising too much someone, you will be the reason for him to become mutakabir. Also, having more conversation with arrogant people. If you sit with, mostly with arrogant, mutakabirun, you sit and talk, right? It will affect, it will affect to your heart. Your heart is like a sponge. When you put the sponge to the wet area, sponge will suck, right? So your heart is like this. If you sit too much close to the, the, the wet dirt, your heart will suck the dirt. That's why do not sit with those kind of mutakabirun. Another one, having a blessing, why are you forgetting the blessed one? Allah. Allah blessed you and you forgot. You think you with your knowledge, with your aql, uh, you the one. If you think this way, takabur comes to you. Exaggeration and excess in respect. If someone respects too much, exaggerate you, that person might be a reason for your takabur. Too much. Don't, like, you have to have respect, but don't go over. You know? So we have to know that. Exaggeration and obedience and submission. Those people who are under, under the control, 
under the hukuma, under the dawla, under the bosses. So don't exaggerate too much. Don't be like a slave. You have to have a limit. Yes, you're working or you in the position, uh, you're responsible to someone. You have to have a limit. Don't exaggerate too much. Oh, like a, then you will be the reason for that person to think about himself like a king. I'm the one. If I'm going to say something, you have to, you must. Blind, like blindly. Don't ask. Just do it, you know. Do it. I told you, do it. No, relax, man. Relax. So there is everything has a limit. Everything has a limit. Don't go over limit. As soon as you go and those people do not talk to you, finish. You mutakabir. Soon you will be like so much high that you're not gonna. You, you may act like you the mu'min, mashallah, in front of jama'a, in front of people, mashallah. But some kind of imtihan test comes. That sponge which you collected all the dirts. When you squeeze the sponge, what's gonna happen? All the dirt comes out, right? It's the same thing. Do not take your sponge, your heart, go go around those dirts. Imtihan comes, dirts will psh, you will show your actual face. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So this is really important, brothers and sisters. I ask myself first, this is all what I have said. It belongs to me. I need to learn. I need to act upon it. I know I do some mistakes. A lot of mistakes, by the way. That's not mean because of Islam. So don't get me wrong if I do some mistake. If you see I'm doing mistake, this is my mistake. This is not Islam's mistake, not Quran, not Sunnah, not Salaf's mistake. It's my mistakes. So accept this way. You know, you're a human being. You have to accept this way. Otherwise, if you think, oh, he's preaching, oh, he's praying, he knows and he's doing some mistake. What, what are you talking about? What, what? I'm going to do the same thing. We are those people talking is not measurement. Not. We could do a bunch of mistakes which you don't do. It should not cause you to do another mistake. Be careful. That's why it's really, really heavy for those people who talk Preach, give da'wah is really heavy because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh, you have believed. Why are you saying something while you're not acting upon it? Why? It's big, huge question. Subhanahu is really heavy. Sometimes I think we discuss with the ulama, shuyukh, we discuss some or mistakes. It's really heavy. We don't want to come out, we don't want to talk, but sometimes it needs to. Someone has to come and talk. Don't think, oh, such a person in order to talk has to be like angel should not do all the mistake and come and talk no there, there's no one's gonna say like this no one's gonna come and say now i have time and now i reached a cer certain level that i'm going to preach you as soon as someone said that know that person is arrogant now i i, I have reached a, such a level now i need to teach you no you didn't you cannot reach that level except prophets messengers the exception. So be careful, brothers and sisters, those who are listening to us. Don't get us wrong. We said something and we're not acting upon it. I know that. I know better than myself. I could not act upon some kind of actions. But I need to say, we have to follow together. I need help of yours. Maybe you're going to help you and you're going to help us. If you see something wrong, talk. Last week we discussed. Tell, remind, as Umar radiallahu anhu. Omar radiallahu when he had the two garment one time because one day before they, they're providing garments each for person one garment for one person right he got two and he stood up in the member Salman the Faris he said oh Omar before you start your khutbah just explain us why you were two rada two you have two everybody has one you have two Omar said oh Abdullah explain his son Abdullah ibn Omar then he stood up he said I gave mine to my father because he's so tall. He's tall. He's not enough. That's why I gave mine. Then Salman al said, okay, now you start to talk your khutbah. And he said, Umar radiallahu was so happy. He said, Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Allah blessed me with those kind of sahabi who reminds me, who tells me, who asks me, oh Allah, alhamdulillah. All praise be to Allah. You see, this way we will clean, we will clarify amongst our mistakes. 
Otherwise, if I think, may Allah forgive us, if I think, who are you to teach me? And you think, who are you to teach me? This way, we're not going to grow. We are human beings. We do mistakes. We need to teach each other, explain each other. That's why we'll grow, inshallah. The best thing in the front of Allah and the Messenger, akhlaq. Innama bu'ithu li utammima makarim al akhlaq. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Indeed, I have sent as a prophet to complete the best manners. To complete the best akhlaq. This is the main purpose of Islam. Main purpose of religion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, give us understanding, tawfiq, <coughs> and the barakah in our knowledge and health and wealth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect those Muslimin in Palestine and Gaza and give them thabat and accept them shuhada and make those zalim oppressors such a way which we, inshallah, we would see. I would like to see their, how they're suffering. May Allah suffer them, give them pain, give them all the bala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather, unite the ummah and according to la ilaha illallah. Qulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullahi li wa lakum fa astaghfiru fa innahu ghafur rahim. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk wa qumu ila salatikum barakallahu fikum. الخطوة تتبع خطوة وطريق الظلم سيطوى ويشق سبيل النور لفجر الدعوى نتخلى لكن نمضي لنهز بقاع الأرض نتألم لكن ذاك مخاض الصحوى